Hello everyone. Today in this video, we will be discussing about the concepts of errors and some of the errors related to it. At first, we will be focusing on the instrumentation, its performance characteristics and some of the basic concept, uh, definitions and the concepts related to it. At the end, we will be dealing with the, the concepts of error in measurements. At first, we will look into the, the concept of instrumentation. What is this instrumentation? It is nothing but a technology of measurement which serves all the branches of engineering, medicine and almost every human endeavor. What is this measurement? So first we need to know so field related to it in the field of engineering and in the field of medicine. First related taking the example of engineering. So we consider some of the instrument what we use regularly in our labs like voltmeter to measure a voltage and to emitter to measure a current. So when you take an instrument we need to know how it is working and how the reading has to be taken absolutely perfect as per what we expectations. Then when you go to the medicine or the medical technologies such as some of the stethoscope everything some of the instruments will be there. So for example, for example stethoscope we take so we need to have an exact hard bits. So we need to know before the uh, working taking into the consideration or taking it like a measurement we need to what is the all instrument is all about and what are the characteristics of it so that it will be easy for us and we can analyze the, uh, the whatever the readings we get whether it is a correct or we have some kind of errors. So usually measuring is basically used to monitor a process or an operation or as well as the controlling process. So we here we generally categorize the measuring into two process the monitoring and the controlling. So whenever we take the kind of the instrument and measure any of the quantities, some of the things will like error will occur. Definitely the error will occur. So we need to look into it how this error can be reduced. So for that purpose, we need to focus more on the selecting the appropriate measuring instrument. So we have to be specific about what we are doing, or we say it as a specific about our measuring jobs. For that purpose, instruments has to be the appropriate and the method has to be appropriate. So measurement methods has to be very sure so that we can reduce the next will be focusing on the, the performance characteristics of these instruments. So what is this performance characteristic? We have to see to it. So usually generally we categorize into the dynamic and deep static. So what if we are doing with this dynamic and static style, we are seeing which are the suitable instrument for specific measuring jobs. So as names such as dynamic and static. Dynamic as we say is a varying process condition and the static it is a unvarying process condition. Usually whatever the results have been done have we have to be calibrated. So that will be easy for us. Now getting into the basic definitions of the what are required. So it will like to brush up some of the basic concepts so we can it will be useful for us. So at first we we'll look into the instrument as the name suggests we know what is the instrument is all about. It's a device or a mechanism used to determine some of the present value of the quantity under measurement process. What we are doing we are taking an instrument and we are measuring the thing that usually we call it as an instrument. It might be a voltmeter, emitter, etc, etc. So what is this measurement now? We are determining the sum of the ammo or degree or capacity or any or we are doing by comparison it with this to the standard of the system unit. You know as we the standard units standard unit is nothing but for voltage we say in terms you know, define in terms of a volts, current we define in terms of a ammeter, pressures in terms of a pascals like that it is. Now when you go now, the Cornish concept is the, the accuracy. What is this accuracy? It is nothing but the degree of exactness of measurement compared to the expected value. For example, we say we are expecting a 10 volts. 
But when we take an instrument and we do the measurement process, we get a reading about 9.8. So what it is expected value is 10 and we are getting a 9.8. So what is 10? 10 is the expected value. Y of n is called as the expected value. X of n is the measured value. Like that it is. Okay. Now we can define this one as the accuracy as A is equals to 1 minus the whole modulus of y of n minus x of n divided by y of n. So this we call it as a relative accuracy. So as we are having an absolute value, we get the error in terms of an absolute value. So we can tell that whatever the difference value we are getting, that we call it, usually we call it as an error, but we here we relate it as a relative accuracy because we are expecting a 10 volts, but we are getting a 9.8. So what is that? Relative accuracy is nothing but a 0.2. When this define this, this relative accuracy in terms of a percentage, we call this one as the percentage accuracy. Next, we will look into the, the concept of resolution. We generally we know the what we mean by the resolution, but with relate to the instrument, it is nothing but the smallest change in the measurable variable to the instrument which will be a respond. It is nothing but the smallest value. If we have a 1, 1.1, 1 .1, the instrument has to respond to it. The smallest change in the values there has to respond. It doesn't mean that when we have a value input as 1 volt and then the instrument doesn't respond. 1.1 also it has to respond. 1.2 also it has to respond. The smallest change or the smallest fluctuation in the input so which the instrument start to give the respons response. We say it as an output usually. When we go to the precision, it is the, the measure of consistency or the repeatability of the measurement. And usually, uh, we can say it on example, we'll take, we'll take a five readings. For example, 9, 9.1, 9.2, 8.9, and 9 again. So we have taken a five reading of a consistent of a, the our instrument. It might be a, some kind of a random instruments. So what we are doing to calculate the precise or the precise reading of this one, precise reading of this. So that we can define it as a P is equals to one minus the whole modulus of X of N minus X bar of N divided by X of N. What is this X of N is the value of nth measurement. So we are taking that one reading and we have to take a comparison. So to, in order to take a comparison, we'll take what all the five readings are there the average of five reading that we call it as the x bar of n and we see compare and take the readings there that is by using this formula p is equals to one minus x uh, the modulus whole modulus of x of n minus x bar of n the whole divided by x bar of n so when we have solved problems on this position you may understand it more clear next the expected value so we, whenever we take a instrument, we usually design those things. When we design, we are expecting a value, like for example, nine. But when we go to the practical consideration, we don't usually get the theoretical and the practical values as the same. So we are expecting on some, some value and we don't get it. So when we don't get it, that comes our next concept. That's the error. What is that error? It's a deviation from the true value from a desired value so we describe or we express in terms of e is equals to y of n minus x of n what is this y of n it's the expected value and what we are getting a value that we call as a measured value that is called an x of n so difference between y of n minus x of n is nothing but the error this usually occurs error is nothing but usually occurs in every instrument but it has to be in the minimum so here in this topic, we will be morely focusing on the error part. Usually this absolute error is usually we express means absolute error is what we only get the values there. 10 minus 9.8 is nothing but E is equals to 0.2. So that we have an absolute value of it. Okay. Next we'll be looking on the sensitivity. Usually, it is nothing but the ratio of change in output of the instrument to the change of input or 
the measured variable. For example, we give input as a two words. Then we check and we are getting a some kind of output. Now change the values from 2.2 to 2.1 and output has to be varied. And similarly 2.2. Again, the output has to vary. So that we call the concept, uh, concept as sensitivity. It has to change and it has to be the change in variable or the change in input with respect to the output has to be almost same. So that determines the, the less errors there. Now, we came across all the basic concepts here. Now, we'll go into the error in measurement. How this error occurs? Is the or the what is the type of error will be calculating? Usually we categorize into the two types: absolute error or relative error. What is this absolute error? It's nothing but the difference between the expected value and the or the measured value. So that as we discussed in the previous topics, what is that? E is equals to y of n minus x of n. The error specified in terms of the absolute quantity as i give an example there y of n is 10 and x of n is 9.8 a is equals to y of n minus x of n so 10 minus 9.8 so absolute value is what 0.2 so i have given one example here see here voltage is nothing but 10 and and defined it as a plus or minus 0.5 so what it is trying to tell that it can vary the reading and we are expecting a value of 10 and it can vary from 9.5 to 10.5 so that is what it is trying to say that is plus or minus 5 plus 10 plus 5 is nothing 10.5 10 minus 0.5 is nothing but 9.5 so it is a range from 9.5 to 10.5 so this is what an absolute error is defined so similarly when you take this relative error and take in terms of a percentage that we usually call it as a, the percentage error but how it has to be that the absolute value what we are getting here e that we have to take it as at the numerator and what we are expecting is have to be below here so that is absolute value what i give an example here a point to divided by expected value is a 10 into and to 100 that is nothing but e divided by y of n into 100 so that usually we get in terms of a the percentage things usually that one statement it is saying that it is more frequently expressed as an accuracy rather than error so yes we casually we see we say how much it is accurate then we define it as an error whatever instrument you see we say how much it is accurate Usually this we concept usually we see in the field of medical. So how much accurate your reading is, how much the test results is. So this what we define. So we need to be, whenever we are taking an instrument, we have to be seeing more on this accuracy than in terms of a error. So I think we all are discussed now understood what is this error? What is this different types of a, the, comp, uh, the basic concepts and we need to can go further so just a recall of you okay next these are the references what i use and hsclc is our the prescribed test book from where we have taken the concepts so david bell the test book of the electric instrumentation and measurement and another one a d helfrey and wd cooper of modern electric electronic uh, electronic instrumentation and measuring technique these two are the the reference textbook so if any of so most of the things will be referring from the hsclc so any doubts please you can ask me okay thank you